Hi guys, it's Dr. Sayed here, aka Real Skin Doctor, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top three favorite over-the-counter skincare products available in 2020. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a doctor specializing in dermatology, and it's my goal to guide you guys through the confusing and wild world of skincare using some basic scientific explanations. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off this video by telling you what I think the three essential components are to a basic skincare routine for every person. Then I'm going to go into each of those categories and tell you what my number one over the counter product is so that you can pick it up for yourself and start incorporating it into your new skincare routine. And I'm going to end the video by giving a few honorable mentions to some specific products that are great for certain problems, not necessarily something that all of you need in your basic skincare routine, but hopefully these recommendations will be useful to some of you. So tune in towards the end to hear some of those. Now bear in mind that YouTube has an international audience. So what might count as over the counter for me may not necessarily be over the counter for you right now. So don't come at me if I start raving about all these products and then you find out that you can't get any of them locally to you. I'm going to be giving my recommendations based on what is available here in the US. And you know what they say, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere because baby, I'm from New York, which means these products are likely available right now, wherever you are, or they're going to be available pretty soon. So I think there are three essential components to a basic skincare routine, and that is a moisturizer, a sunscreen and a retinoid product. Now I can already hear some of you freaking out right now. What about the eye cream? What about the lip balm? What about the gentle facial cleansers? Will somebody please think of the gentle facial cleansers? Yes, a lot of those things do have their own incremental benefits, but I don't think they count as being essential in everybody's basic skincare routine. So I don't want to confuse people by talking about some of these more niche products. And instead, I want to talk about what I consider to be compulsory as part of someone's skincare regimen. If you're not doing these, it's kind of like not brushing your teeth or not washing your hair or not getting an enema at least once a week. So the enema thing was a joke in case any of you are freaking out right now. You only need those once a month. Once a week would be overkill. So let's kick things off with the moisturizer. So why is a moisturizer so important? Your skin is basically a barrier to the outside world. It's what defines what is outside of your body from what is inside your body. So for example, this safety pin is outside my body and now this safety pin is inside my body. First, you would say there's boiling hot water outside my body. Now, you would say there's boiling hot water. In hindsight, was that necessary? Probably not. But did it help make the point more clearly? Also probably not. So essentially your skin plays a barrier function and it is built up using what we call a brick and mortar system. The bricks in this are called keratinocytes, which are basically skin cells. And then the mortar is the paste in between that kind of plugs up all the holes. And in our bodies that is made up using a series of fats and protein. Not only does this skin barrier help keep out things that may be harmful to the inside of your body, it also helps to keep water inside. So when our skin loses this barrier function, not only do more irritants and allergens come in from the outside world into our skin, but also we lose water from the inside of our skin to the outside world. This combination leads to inflammation and inflammation is bad news because it causes itchiness, it causes breakouts, and it can also cause darkening of the skin or lightening of the skin once it's resolved. So this is why we all need to be using moisturizers regularly in our day to make sure that our skin has this beautiful barrier function maintained and to avoid inflammation in our skin. So that leads me to this bad boy. And this is my number one recommendation for an over-the-counter moisturizer. The reason why is this tiny is because this is a sample size so don't worry you're not gonna buy one in this portion each time they actually come in these much bigger bottles around about this size and they're available for around about 10 to 15 dollars at almost any drugstore you can imagine now the beautiful thing about CeraVe moisturizing lotion is that it contains ceramides and ceramides are part of the natural fatty layer that exists in our skin anyway so what you're doing is helping replenish that with a little bit of reinforcements from the outside Sunscreen, we have to talk about it. I know you're sick of hearing it. I'm sick of telling people about it because we all kind of know in the back of our minds that we should be wearing sunscreen. But why is it so important? Now, although you can't see UV rays, they are being emitted nonstop from the sun. They're reaching the earth's surface and they are reaching our skin. Now, once UV rays reach our skin, they damage the DNA in our skin cells and they also break down collagen and elastic fibers in our skin. These two effects mean that UV exposure causes, number one, skin cancer, Boo! And number two, they also cause photo-aging because of the fact that they break down collagen and elastic fibers and it causes your skin to have this wrinkled and sagging appearance much sooner than you otherwise would have had it. So if the fear of skin cancer won't make you reach for that sunscreen bottle, maybe the fear of early wrinkles might. Clouds can only block around about 10 to 20% of UV rays, which means that 80% of it, even on a cloudy day, is still coming through to greet your skin and to have those effects on it. Now there's a lot to be said about sunscreens, the different types that I'm not gonna get into right now, but I 
will in other videos on my channel. For the sake of this video, you're gonna have to just take my word for it that this product is one of the best sunscreens you can ask for. And that is this one right here. I'll bring you close to the screen once again. Now there are thousands and thousands of sunscreen products out there and different people are going to enjoy the feel of different ones. For me, the reason why I like this one is because it has a high SPF number, which is the sun protective factor. It's 50 plus, which is great for me. Number two, it is a physical sunscreen. You can get either physical or chemical ones. And in summary, physical sunscreens are better. And this is a physical sunscreen. And number three, this one is sheer, which means that it doesn't give you quite as much of that pasty effect that some sunscreens can. So this is my number one recommendation for an over-the-counter sunscreen for 2020. Retinoids. If you have even a passing interest in skincare, you have probably come across this idea of retinoids or retinols being mentioned somewhere. I'm going to be talking about them a lot more in other videos on my channel, but briefly speaking, retinoids are kind of as close as we get in the world of dermatology to a magical treatment. You know how in our parents' generation, they kind of used to think that olive oil solved every problem. And then you come to the 2000s and for some reason, cocoa butter became this savior ingredient. And you know what, my skin's feeling a bit dry. You better get some cocoa butter on that quickly. Now my skin's starting to feel a bit oily. You know what you gotta do, right? Cocoa butter. Ah, dude, I've been having this crushing chest pain whenever I woke up here or right here in the middle of my cocoa butter. What are you not getting about this? Well, now we have retinoids and the difference is retinoids actually have scientific evidence backing up a lot of their claims. So retinoids can help with uneven pigmentation. They can also help with fine lines and wrinkles, and they can even help getting rid of oily skin so that you have less acne breakouts. Now there are tons of over-the-counter products which have a retinol, which ends in an OL. And this is a slightly weaker version of retinoic acid products. Now, unfortunately, most of the retinoic acid products are prescription only even to the this day. But there's one product which I absolutely love and which used to be prescription only up until a couple of years ago, at which point it became available over the counter. And that is Differin Gel. Differin Gel contains something called Adapalene and Adapalene is one of these retinoic acid products. It only costs around 10 to $15 for an amount that will last you well over a month. And I think it's the best value for money and scientifically backed product you can get in the retinoid category. Word of warning, it is pretty strong as a product. So when you first start out, you really have to use a tiny, tiny amount for your whole face. And then slowly your skin will build up a tolerance and you can increase the amount you use. I'm gonna talk about the appropriate usage of retinoids and instructions for all of that in a separate video. But for the sake of this one, I round out my top three recommended products with Differin Gel. So remember, these honorable mentions are not something which everyone needs to incorporate into their skincare routine, but if you have these specific problems, I think you're gonna love them. So number one, if you notice that you have really thick, rough areas on the bottom of your feet or on your hands, for example, I have just the product for you, and that is Eucerin Roughness Relief. Now bear in mind that Eucerin do a ton of different products, including regular moisturizers. So I really specifically am talking about the roughness relief treatment. So this one is called the Eucerin Roughness Relief Spot Treatment. And the way you know it's the spot treatment is that it comes with this little nozzle at the end. Now this product contains a high concentration of urea. And what urea does is it breaks down that tough outer layer of skin sometimes when it goes into overdrive in areas which are weight bearing like your feet. So this is great for that. If you're one of those people that gets those annoying bumpy spots on the outside of their arms that are really itchy, that's something called keratosis pilaris. And there's a wonderful line of products called amlactin, which I strongly recommend for anyone who is dealing with this kind of problem. Now amlactin contains ammonium lactate in there, which does a similar thing to urea in terms of it breaking down the rough parts of your skin on the outside and it can leave you with these baby smooth arms so I strongly recommend incorporating amlactin as a regular moisturizer in your day-to-day -day if you have those rough bumps on the outside of your arms and you're looking for something for your body next if you're someone who has crazy sensitive skin you probably have eczema or something like that a bunch of allergies and you always find that things are making you break out whether it's a new deodorant or a new shampoo or anything like that well look no further because I want to introduce you guys to Vanny cream now as you can see from all of these different things Vanny cream isn't just one specific product Product, they do a whole line of different products. So, so whether that's deodorant, whether it's body wash, whether it's facial cleanser or moisturizer, Vanny Cream has you covered. And the reason they're fantastic is because they specialize in doing fragrance-free and preservative-free things to the most pure degree that we have in the over-the-counter market right now. So anytime I have a patient who has sensitive skin, I tell them throw out everything else you have, switch it all to Vanny Cream, and that's gonna help give me peace of mind that my patient is not aggravating their own skin conditions with something they're using over the counter. And then finally, a product very close to my my heart. This is called CeraVe Healing Ointment. And the reason I love this product is because I'm one of those people, the second it turns from fall to winter and the indoor heaters come on, my lips get cracked immediately and I constantly have to put something on. And CeraVe Healing Ointment is the best thing I've found for that. So I'm constantly putting this on my lips, including through this video, if you've been wondering why my lips are so shiny. So I love this product for those people who have trouble with chapped lips. 
So those are my top recommendations for over-the-counter skincare products in 2020. If you guys have tried other products that have ended up becoming essential to your daily skincare routine, comment them below because I always love hearing about these suggestions and then that usually prompts me to go do my own research. Also, if there are specific products you'd like to hear me review or if you have any questions about skincare or skin conditions on the whole, please comment them below because I'd love to be able to use those as ideas for future videos. In case you're wondering, I'm not getting paid by any of these companies at all. These are my honest recommendations. And if any of you guys happen to act upon these and try them, have any good or bad experience, do comment them below because I'd love to hear how you guys find these product recommendations. So if you enjoyed the video and you think you'd be interested in more like this where I take a scientific approach to help explain some of these aspects of skincare to you guys then I would really really appreciate it if you not only like the video but especially subscribe to the channel so that I know that there is an appetite out there for this kind of thing. Also if you know anyone out there who is a skincare fanatic and you think could benefit from having a bit more of a scientific approach to their skincare regimen I would appreciate you sharing the channel with them. But with that being said thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.